Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a lovely Thursday. I almost made it to another weekend. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, please like my page. If you're watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Let's see what the cards have in store for us today. Okay, so let me see. Looking at the suits, there's no conflict between the suits. Um, no negative connections, that's good. There's no overwhelming suit or no overwhelming theme to it. So we'll just take a look at it and see what's happening today. So we'll start off with the two of wands and twos are about decisions and choices that we may have to make and things that we desire um, or things that we are, um, our ideals, our driving motivations, things that we're focusing our will on. We may have to make a choice between those. There may be even be some duplication or balance that is required of those or maybe we're re we're balancing those desires and our drives in our life uh, today. So you may find yourself with a decision about the things that you desire, the paths that you want to take in your life, or where it is that you want to focus your will today, or focus your energy and intention and the things that you want to work toward. Uh, it may be time to make a decision about that, either a life choice or a, um, a just a cognitive decision to maybe alter what you're doing slightly for the better. Now, with that, we have temperance. And temperance emphasizes caution and balance. Uh, balance is a very important concept to temperance because it's the... Uh, temperance is the union of the masculine and feminine, or fire and water. You know, we always say fire and water don't mix. Uh, but this is the alchemical representation of the alchemical process of mixing those two energies together. So, which has to be done in a very cautious way, or else it becomes very explosive and very volatile. Um, so today, um, with these changes that we're making, caution is emphasized, and the importance of maintaining balance in our lives. Uh, with the choices that we're looking at, with um, what we desire, and what we want to put action into, and what we want to put our energy into, it's important to remember to balance everything in our lives. Not be so focused on just the desires and just what we're... Um, longing to have that we forget everything else in the life and everything that's important in our life. So as you're making this choice today, make sure that you focus on balance and you use caution in what you're, um, what you're choosing and what you're f intending to put your energies into. And then the last card here is the Knight of Pentacles. And Knights are all about taking action. So after we make the choice, we're going to take action on it. Um, knights can be very um, brazen, um, impulsive, but the Knight of Pentacles is the least impulsive of the Knights, So, which is good. So it's talking about action and acting on uh, the decision that we make and make, doing the choices that we make, uh, but it's also talking about not rushing directly into them, but taking our time with them and acting on those um, 
cho the choice that we made in maintaining that balance. Uh, being the Knight of Pentacles, so we're talking about taking action in a physical way. So it may be an actual change in something that you're doing. Uh, it could be a change in your work or your lifestyle, or it could be a, a um, something about your home life that you're looking at changing. Um, changing in how you manage your resources, your money, your finances, any of those things would fall under pentacles. So with the change that we're going to be making, we're going to manifest that change through in the physical world by taking action upon that change, but making sure that the choice that we have is balanced and we're proceeding with caution. So we're not just running forward into the decision blindly, but we're making a conscious decision of it that we've calculated and we know what it is that we're going to do. Um, and then manifesting that decision and making that decision appear on the physical world in the changes in our life. So we're actually going to take action on that choice as once we make it and once we establish the caution and make sure everything that that it's balanced in our life because we don't want to throw our lives out of balance that's when things become chaotic and troublesome uh, so we want to make sure we maintain that balance and I think it's very interesting that the balance card is the middle point of the reading and that's the pivot point the balance point you're weighing the choices versus the results here so that's what the cards have for us today. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like my page on Facebook, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow my blog. The links for all of my social media are on the About page on Facebook and in the description below on YouTube. If you'd like to book a reading with me, they do start off at $5. You can contact me through Facebook, through YouTube, through my email address at lodgemagician at gmail.com, or you can go to my Facebook business page or my webpage and book a reading through there. Thank you and have a wonderful day.